Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It is season 34, and this is the first war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance called Los Infernales. So let's take a look and see what they got in store for us. I'm still on the same path, path three, in sections one and two. All right, let me see who they... No, they got rid of my Spider-Man 2099. No. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'll probably go in with um, Nick Fury then. Uh, back to my standard team. Let's do a preview first, though. See what we got going on. All right. So, ooh, they've already... Uh, started interesting yeah that thing is not gonna be fun on that node to be sure uh so no one on that first node we've got uh anti-venom on that one all right so claire be able to take that yeah that that thing is not looking good and mole man ugh. yeah that hmm and we got Ultron, that's going to be Black Widow. Hulkbuster, that's going to be Black Widow. Iron Man, Infinity War, and he's not awakened. Interesting. Uh, I'll take that one with Warlock. Um, ugh, Ebony Maw, and they got rid of Human Torch. Let me see, they got Human Torch, yep. And... Um, Spider-Man 2099, two that would have done that fight really well. They they did good bands. I still hate bands, by the way. But they they did good bands. Um, their bands match their uh, defender. Huh, let's see. Killmonger, we've got Bishop. Warlock could possibly take that one. Um, Mangog. Uh, I don't know. Claire, maybe, maybe Warlock as well. At the bottom, we got Sasquatch. Um, hmm. We also have uh, Penny. That'll be an annoying fight for sure. And uh, we got Domino up there. Warlock could do that fight as well. And the boss here. Hmm. I mean... Depending on the shape Nick Fury is in, he might be able to do it. But if you have someone that doesn't gain buffs, that's really good. Like Spider-Man 2099. Um, or uh, let me think. I think Guardian. Um, not Guardian. Red Guardian. I think he doesn't generate buffs. So he could be a, a good one for that. Um, yeah, that that's probably going to be an annoying fight. But we'll see. This um, first war. And yeah, that, that fight. I, with the counter. And I've done this fight before. And he can one-shot you. You get caught. And it's a one shot. Ugh, man. And he gains. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Yeah, I, I don't know this this fight. I'll I'll try Nick Fury, but this is not a. It's not gonna be a fun fight. Um, to be sure. Let me see what what. Okay, armor brave immunity. All right, Fender has three or more debuffs, heal blocks. Okay, yeah, I don't think any of these will help me. Yeah, apply a slow. Yeah, I don't see any of those helping me. All right, well, 
let's uh let's see how it goes let's let's get in there and fight the best way we can all right be right back with the fighting all right i'm back and so we're at war i think six already and i'm going back and trying to catch up with my war videos so it's been a little bit since i did this particular war um first fight we've got uh anti-venom and i wasn't too worried about this fight uh anti-venom is not that difficult to fight uh we've got that ionized armor claire can strip that away doesn't matter that mystics you know have a large uh, chance to fail because she gets so many chances to strip that away um if i remember correctly it was the thing fight that i was most concerned with that's why you see uh nobody really wanting to tackle that thing both my alliance mates are are sitting there uh and i don't blame them uh thing is is he, he can be fun to play if you know how to uh fight him i mean fun to fight if you know how to fight him uh when he first came into the contest i did not like fighting him it was too much to keep track of and eventually i got used to it and uh i ended up fighting thing as the boss uh in war sometimes so uh this right here is pretty straightforward fight I cycled through uh, her curses here. I'm in a Curse of Hellfire right now, which is the one that you want to be in for damage. Don't ask why I was just getting hit there. I don't know. Happens in war quite often. Actually, it happens uh, sometimes even in the arena. You know, I'll just be fighting and then suddenly, whap, whap, whap. And I'm like, what? I was blocking. How, how am I getting hit? Was he unblockable? Don't know. All right, almost had me against the wall. I don't like being against the wall. So there we go. Took out a big chunk of his health. Now, I need to bait that out. And I got to be careful because it hurts. I don't want to get hit with his special two. I'd rather take it on my block. And boom, we got him down. She can heal her health back. So I'll rather take the block than risk uh, a mistake and getting hit with that special two. Don't want that. Now we come to think. Uh, see, I know that some people love war and the nodes make the fights more challenging for them. And they love that challenge. I'm not really one of those people. So I finally know how to fight Thing. I learned, I, I practiced, and I can fight Thing. I know how to do it. Um, Nick Fury is a great option. Normally, this wouldn't be a problem. However, the node makes it a problem. So I'm fighting Thing the way that you would normally fight Thing, but because of the node, you'll notice that he's gaining um armor ups and with those armor ups every time i hit him i'm getting a chance to have a shock on me nick fury is not shock immune i've not gotten hit yet so i've been playing pretty perfectly okay but i'm still taking damage the real nick fury is already out i've got not gotten hit so all of my practice all of my skills in fighting thing aren't really gonna matter too much here you know um the real nick fury is out and every time he hits into my block ugh, i hate that but anyway he's got his protection up you know and i'm fighting him the only way i know how so when i saw all of the stacks of, of uh shot i already knew that I probably wasn't gonna get this, but look, look, look how close. He got that regen right at the end. Again, the node. So I'm just like, wow. So the node turned 
one of the best counters against Thing into one of the worst ones for that node. I didn't get beat by Thing. I got beat by the node. And I know that's great for some people. You know, they love, you know, that, that interaction and everything. You know, and eventually you'll learn the good counters for that node and what have you. But yeah, I'm just not a, a big fan of that type of thing. So we lost our Nick Fury and I can't get the life model decoy back. So the real Nick Fury is out at this point and there's nothing I can really do to put him back in the bottle. Uh, we finished thing off with Claire. Uh, thing is actually a really good option here because you can't nullify those armor ups. So what you want there, if you see thing, ideally is a shock immune champion. That's what you want. All right. So uh, I ran out of energy, went to sleep. Uh, by the time they came back, they had cleared that. And look at this. They cleared my path. They cleared my path. And I, I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings about this because I don't ask for help on my path. I go in there with the champions I feel are going to take those paths. I, I put in a, that planning at the beginning that you saw. And when somebody comes in, and takes my path, I, I I have mixed feelings. I have mixed feelings. You know, it's, it's almost like, are, are you, I didn't ask for your help, so are you trying to make yourself look better, you know, on the boards by having more kills? I, you know, I'm not going to accuse anybody of that, but that's the kind of stuff that I, I think about. So now, uh, I'm fighting this mini over here and look at that wasn't that awesome so i'm already not in a great mood right my, my path was taken and i hadn't even asked for any help or anything like that didn't need any help i'm being asked to take those minis over there which i wasn't really prepared to do to be honest with you um especially not penny parker on that um stun reflection node. I hate that stun reflection node. Um, I've hated it since it started and I, I wish they'd do away with it, but you will get used to it and I can do it. I just don't like it. I remember when it first came in, you know, people were like, well, you just gotta, you know, I was like, I know what I need to do. And eventually I will start doing it, but I still don't like it. So um, I still have a bunch of, of heals from all the compensation that they gave us, but that's one down already. And I didn't even get a chance to, to do anything really. Just crashed. And I was just like, man, I was, I was not happy. I was not happy about that. And look at this. I accidentally, apparently, either um, parried or something but the indestructible already got hit and i'm like what is happening here what's going on now i fight penny parker in alliance quest she's the final boss map eight and i fight her all the time so i know how to fight her pretty well okay now that node you know i can do heavies and i do a lot of damage um, but there's still some stuff I need to learn uh, about fighting her. You know, these auto blocks and me taking damage, not cool. Not cool at all. But, you know, countering her heavies with my heavy, countering her specials with my heavy, that kind of thing, I can do. And you can see there, I got a little bit of health back. I'm in a Curse of Blood. Um, got a little bit of health back. And we're just countering her specials. All right, now she's got the sink shield up. And I'm trying to knock uh, some of the charges down. Um, but sometimes she just, I don't know. She, she sometimes gets real passive. And then, you know, I'm trying to hit 
to get the uh, charges down and every once in a while I'm getting power burned and taking damage and I'm I, I need to learn a little bit more um, but really hate playing uh, fighting uh, Penny Parker I heard that uh, there was something that they were going to be fixing with her um, something to do with when she her sink shield is down and that that really ticked me off guys did you see how she just like waited and then just whack hit me hate that because i'm i'm having to hit into her shield and she suddenly played the passive role waited for me and then just whack hit me quick i'm like okay whatever i was probably gonna go anyway um just from the incidental damage of hitting into that sink shield and getting power burned and and damage back and stuff like that but uh i will learn how to fight her a little bit better but some of this you know i was getting hit and you know especially in the beginning and i was like what what why am i getting hit so we were in here again okay and i just started hitting her and then look at this why am i getting hit i right there that i don't know what happened i could not do anything now part of it i believe um um i got stunned okay but the initial i was just getting hit and that threw me off so you see i was just like all right that that's enough let's just uh try and get her down i don't care okay boom she's down good thing she's not bleed immune at least really don't like fighting her um but we got her down and uh thanks to the crash thanks to whatever input issues were there thanks to me just not playing uh penny parker that well just a combination of things but at least she went down and that's something that I usually, if, if I have a, a decent option for it, I'm going to get them down. Even if there's no attack bonus left, I'm going to get them down. All right. Now we get to fight Domino. Okay. So I claim because I see I had a bunch of these expiring. So may as well use them. Uh, they're going to expire, I believe, before the next war. So... If I don't use them right now, I'm not going to use them ever. Okay. So as you can see, went ahead and used another um, invulnerability boost. And I remember when Warlock first came out, I was like, yes, I didn't get him for a little while. But when I did, if y'all remember me from way back in the day, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you remember how... Domino was my nemesis. I hated Domino. But I now have great counters for her and I know how to fight her. So Warlock, beautiful counter for her. There's other good counters for her, but Warlock is one of my favorite counters for her. Um, I remember taking Warlock into one of the acts, I think, or one of the variants um, where she was... She had like a bunch of different nodes on her even. And a lot of people were like, oh my goodness. Um, but Warlock handled her quite nicely. So I love fighting her with Warlock. Okay. And you see here, just, just a regular old fight. Much nicer than that Penny Parker fight. All right. She's lucky right here. So. I didn't want to go in hard because she'll evade. Okay. Here we go. She can't evade this though. And that pretty much is going to take her out. Uh, so I didn't, I, I don't think I fought uh, the boss here. Um, what I'm going to do, because I know I fought bosses uh live sometime so i'm gonna check my live stream but i fight. don't believe I 22 minutes left y'all y'all about to see me just do whatever i don't even care
isn't it fun that even if you play well and you don't even get hit, you still die? You're doing well, you, you're evading, you're doing all this wonderful stuff, but you just die. It's awesome, isn't it? That's some skill right there. Did y'all see what skill I used? Still die. <laughs> Whoops. That was my fault. Hey, and I'm dead. Isn't it fun? I dodged. I used my evades, and it didn't matter, did it? Was there anything I could do? Could I evade a little faster? Could I maybe avoid getting hit? Well, no, that didn't work, did it? No hit. Still dead. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun. And then they have this ban system. So I couldn't bring in Spider-Man 2099 because they banned him. Because they know. It's all good. I don't know why that person went in there. Once I'm, once I'm on it, I'm on it. Let's just get her done. Let's do it. All right, we're done. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. First war of the season. Let's shake the dust off and let's see if we can't do better. Uh, we just died a lot. We. Because I died. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.